All right, boys and girls. So in this video, I am going to talk to you about your animal research report. So excited because this is one of my favorite projects that we do in trimester three. So you're going to need your science packet for this so you could follow along. All right, hopefully you have your science packet. And if you didn't, pause the video and get it now. Let's take a look at where I'm talking about. I want you to turn to the page that says to-do list for animal research project. So the way that you're going to complete this project is by doing a Google slideshow. And I want you by tomorrow to check your email because I'm going to send you the slideshow that you're going to be working on. Each part of your slideshow is going to have these six different slides. A slide is just like uh, the page that you're working on, okay? So for this animal research report, you are going to find information about your animal's habitat, and that is one slide. Your animal's characteristics and features, that's slide number two. Your animal's diet, that's slide number three. Your animal's adaptations or ways it it, uh, ways it survives. That is another slide. And then the final slide will be a conclusion slide and a slide for your resources, meaning what books or websites did you use to find this information? Okay. Now in this packet, I've included websites that you can use for your animal research report and it's located on one sheet of paper. Here's one side right here. It says Animal Research Website for Kids. You can go to any one of these websites. You just type them into Google and it'll give you some information about the animal you are choosing to research. So for example, National Geographic Kids, that happens to be one of my favorites. When you go to Google, you're gonna just type it in, National Geographic kids and boom let me move this here there it is right here okay you can find animals here animal types and they'll give you all kinds of information about it and look at that they've even grouped them for us invertebrates I see mammals birds reptiles fish so they've put all the the vertebrates in their own little category and then the invertebrates in one. All right, so that's one of them. Another one, a really great one is Ranger Rick. So I'm just gonna type in Ranger Rick. There it is. And here you can find animals. And whoops, no, you don't wanna sign up. <laughs> You just want to use the information that's provided here to find more information about your animals, okay? Oh, I think we have to, maybe we do have to join. Hmm. Well, let's see, maybe not necessarily Ranger Rick. You can always go to, there's another one here. San Diego Zoo is a good one, actually. San Diego Zoo is a really good place to find information about your animal, whichever animal you are planning to research. Okay, so you go to here, animals and plants, and they have really cool videos on here that you can look through and find more information about. Look at that, the Arctic fox. Uh, Ooh, the bee eater. Eesh. All right. So those are some websites that you can check out. And then on the other side of this page, you're going to find another list of research websites that are kid friendly and good for uh, finding credible information. Remember that word credible. So here are a list of other websites to use. Okay. We will be working on one piece of information at a time. So you're not gonna do all of this at one time. 
we are going to start off by doing step one and then step two and then step three and we're going to do these steps on different days okay so each step is a different day and I'll show you how to do it I want you to take a look at the next page after oops <laughs> after that and it says make sure you do the following so on top of finding the information that you need about your animal okay these it, these bits of information habitat diet adaptation all that stuff I want you to think about adding these things photos and videos and if you do add a video make sure it's no longer than two minutes you might want to include because this is a non fiction slideshow you are creating, you might want to include diagrams, maps, captions, or other non-fiction text features to make your research more interesting. And I, can sh and I will show you how to add videos and captions and maps and things like that to your slideshow. Please, please, please use up to two to three credible sources. So use just two websites or even three. If you do four, that's fine, but things start to get a little crazy because then you have to check all four sources to get your information. And it might just be easier just using two or three. Please make sure you reread your work. Did it make sense? Okay, maybe you want to show your research to someone in your family. Present it to them and ask them what they thought. Maybe they can help you, or maybe they'll say, hey, great job, keep up the good work, okay? And finally, what is Mrs. Santos going to be looking for? Well, inside of your finished slideshow, right? Once you're all done, you've gathered all your information, you've added all your pictures and your diagrams and your graphs and videos, I'm going to be looking for the following things in your project. Is it nicely colorful? Is it nicely colored? Did you include pictures and graphics to really make your um, project a little more interesting? And if you did include graphics and videos, were they the right ones? If you're researching a sloth, is there a picture of a monkey? Okay, <laughs> so make sure you have the right ones to go with the right animal. What does your writing look like? Does it have any errors? Did you spell things correctly? Did you use complete sentences? And another thing that I really, really want you guys to do, did you use the same font on all your slides? Meaning, are all the letters the exact same? Or are some printed like this, and then on the other slide, they're in cursive? I would like for you to stick with just one font. Either use all cursive or use all printed. Okay, those are just two examples of different font. Is your focus spot on? Did you focus on just that one topic? Okay, are you talking about only sloths and not about monkeys? Okay, are you talking only about a dolphin and not about sharks? So make sure that whatever animal you're choosing, that it is about that animal. And finally, is your information correct and credible? Okay, if you tell me that a sloth is born when we see rainbows, that's probably not correct information and it's probably not credible. Okay, so make sure that you find correct information. All right, boys and girls, that's it for the research report today for your exit ticket. I want you to decide on which animal you'd like to research. Choose any animal that you like, and it could be a vertebrate or an invertebrate. It's really truly up to you, okay? But by the end of today, in your exit ticket, your first job is to choose the animal you are researching. And boys and girls, I want you to have fun with this project, really play with it, get some information that it maybe you didn't know about your animal, 
It's going to be a lot of fun. See you guys later. Bye.